Mu Manao. My way. These, these are... Mm. When, it, when you get it when it's warm, it's really tender. It's really good. Once again, I'm choosing the laser route. Yes, I got pork butt right here. Yes, booty is delicious. And so you would thinly slice it like that right there. Because if you don't, and it's too big. You have to blanch it longer, and then it dries out. And then at the same time, too, if you don't do that, it's, you're going to deal with some issues of it not being very tender and juicy. It'll be dry. But um, here, I'm making a little marinade where I'm using the Chinese method of velveting, where you add cornstarch and water. Sometimes they add egg whites. Where in you, uh, you coat it, you marinate it, you blanch it, and it, what that does, it creates a layer on the outside of the pork or any meat you're using, and then that prevents the juices from inside the meat from leaving out while it's cooking. So it kind of gives you a, like a protective barrier. Um, here, this recipe is really like simple. You just blanch the pork, and then you make the dressing. You blanch some and boil some vegetables or saute if you want. Usually, this is eaten with like. Uh, Chinese broccoli. Uh, here I'm using regular broccoli, and that's fine enough. I'm blanching it. There you go. You know, you blanch it until it's nice, not super soft, but it's got some bite to it, uh, but it's still soft. So here, it's this recipe is a spicy garlic lime pork. So here, the most important part is the garlic. Usually, you don't add as much garlic whenever you're making a dressing, a lime dressing, like for a Thai salad or something. Here, I decided to saute the garlic to give it that extra flavor just that real pungency nice flavor of uh, golden brown garlic i also browned up the chilies too because i wanted to add its fruity i want to bring its fruity notes more even out and a little bit of its brown flavor and here i mean of course two tastes with the dressing two tastes two tastes two tastes you know um uh, this is a very small amount of dressing oh here uh this is very important so as soon as it hits as soon as you add your pork mix 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 and you will cook this for like 15 to 30 seconds it is really thin remember you cut you cut your pork really thin and it comes out really quick and then you give it a rinse so you can get some of that cornstarch flavor out if there's any left and you add the dressing and mix also i want to point out that if you want to cut the, the pork easier it's hard to cut it um add some uh add some a little bit of a, a freeze it for 10 15 minutes and slice it Video, jasmine rice, broccoli, uh, to side. And this is how I eat on one of my weeknights.